Well, hello guys, it's Ronnie Doss. Welcome to the Like a Doss podcast where the main man's here. This is Joel Bennett who has been what, co-hosting this from the very beginning, right? At least 40, 45 years. <laughs> 40 <laughs> years this guy's been co-hosting <laughs> this podcast, Like a Doss. Thanks for being here. We're excited. This is going to be a video podcast, so this is actually on YouTube. You guys are probably watching via YouTube. I'm sorry uh, you see me. I'm sorry about that. Yes. We've kept it audio until now, but, <laughs> What'd you say? but this, <laughs> face, this face couldn't be contained to just audio. That's right. Uh, <laughs> well, you have a face for radio. You know I what do. they say? <laughs> anyway, this is Joel. We are so excited to do this today. Joel, how this goes with the podcast, you guys know if you've listened before. Before, Joel pulls out his, it's like the, the blue cards, right? With yeah, the, they're white today, but they're yes. They're white, yeah, and yeah. his secret journal that we don't discuss before this starts. So let's talk about what you've got that you, you want to talk about today, Joel. I, I want to talk about something. I was texting someone just earlier today, and this okay. is where this one came up at. Um, she said, uh, I, I asked her, what have you been up to? She said, I, I've got some jobs coming up. Uh, are you free to do this job with me? As you know, I do sports television stuff, and we all, you know, we have a great community that, that talks to each other. If you mm-hmm. need some help, you try to get some people. So you have friends like that. And uh, she said, uh, got a job coming up. If you're interested, you can do it. I said, well, what have you been doing besides that? She said, well, you know, uh, real busy, but it doesn't look good. Uh, you know, the, the industry's not looking good, whatever. She was kind of depressed about it. Mm-hmm. And then I said, I started talking about one of her hobbies. I said, are you still doing? She does some modeling stuff. I said, you "Still doing modeling?" She said, "No, just that life life's kind of gotten away." Mm-hmm. And I thought about that for like the next hour. How many times we let life get in the way? Is that a mindset that we can easily get into when we should actually be experiencing life, being happy about our life, mm-hmm. enjoying our life? But when we say life got in the way, talk to me about that. Is that a weird phrase? Well, I think so in that, and we know what people mean by that, or we think we know what people mean by that. We, we can assume that people mean that distractions started showing up for them and pulling them off of what I think they thought their life would look like, you know, and I hear this all the time, right? This yeah. is what people are sharing. They're talking about that, you know, I wanted to get an education. I wanted to write a book. I wanted to start a new career. And that's what people say they want to do, right? But life gets in the way, meaning that the distractions of, you know, being a parent, being a spouse, Right, health issues, whatever, something else steps in, so to speak, and that be that becomes the thing that pulls them in a direction that I think at some point they didn't think their life would be, or they didn't think that you know it would look like living their best life. Yeah, that's guess. a phrase you hear all the time. I'm right. living my best life. Right. Really? Yeah. So the big thing with me and talking to people about this is that you know we get into this mindset where life is about these mountain top winning experiences like that's what it's at everything else then is it means that we're missing it right when you're not on the mountaintop and you don't have all the money in the world and your relationship's not a super number 10 all the time and you and your wife are super passionate every single day every hour right you know when it's not that it's like oh well this is just life i guess this is how it is but i think we get into this mindset where we're chasing this next thing so much that we miss life yeah. and the things that really I think can make it, it beautiful. So when a person is dealing with challenges that they would say pull them off of their life path of that better life, I think in that is where we find the opportunity to transform into seeing and appreciating what life can really offer. It's the not mountaintop, it's the journey of climbing and getting to what that mountaintop could be. You understand? And so, so many people will say, well, my life, I didn't expect it to look this way. Right. And I'm like, well, who told you your life was going to look a certain way at all? Like you made up this idea in your mind that life was going to look like you're headed in this direction. And then when it doesn't, like you start being upset, down, negative, like, oh, I can't believe this happened. And that state of being, uh, the mix of our focus and our emotion, that state of being is what I think contributes to so much of what will happen in the future. And so people get down because they're like, well, I'm not on the mountaintop. Things aren't going the way I thought that it was going to go. And I, I just can't believe I'm so down. And most of the time, many cases, let me say not most of the time, but many cases, Joel, when I talk to people that are dealing with things like what you're talking about, um, they're in a negative state of being because that's simply what they're choosing. Like, it's never what happens to us. It's about what we make those things mean, how we respond to those things. And really, the routine that we choose to set for our life 
so that we grow into something that then creates more of the life that we would say that we want to have. You have to become that. Like your life, I think, meets you at your place of ownership and acceptance of responsibility. And for me, what I believe to be so very true for people is many people get off the path because they haven't taken responsibility for the small details that they could learn to master in their life that then produce more and more of what we would say is a better life. Most people don't do that. What most people do is say, well, I hoped it would go this way. I thought it was going to look like this. And then it doesn't. And they're like, man, and they're so down that their focus is on what's not there versus what is here and what can I do with what I have already, what resources are there, Mm -hmm. right, that I can utilize, that can move me, thrust me into a life that's better, so to speak, right? Like I've learned in, in my time here now, 43 years old, been doing what I'm doing now, as you know, you know over a decade, um, lots of places, lots of people, lots of stories, people sharing, you know, I had a goal to do this and then this happened and all that. And the one thing that I have landed on is that regardless of what life throws at you, you can create something really powerful, really beautiful, really amazing, right in the midst of all the challenges. If the challenge spins you so far sideways that you stop looking at what you do have and what resources are available to you and what people are there to support you with whatever, then when you stop seeing what's there and what's available for you uh, to work with, you're always, in a sense, a victim to the circumstance of life. And life is going to throw circumstances at you. I think that's what it's meant to do. Mm-hmm. If, if it was easy all the time, and if all we had to do was say, oh, that's the way that it's going to be, and then that would happen, we would lose a bit of the, the edge. We would lose a bit of the discomfort. We'd lose a bit of the tension that I think makes us so strong and gives us the ability to do something more than what we've already done. And so when somebody's career changes, right, it may be the end of the career, but it's not the end. Mm -hmm. You know, there's words to a song that says, every new beginning was some new beginning's end, meaning that everything ends at a point. And when something ends, it means that's over, that season, but now there's an opportunity for something new to make itself manifest in my life. But if I'm so frustrated and I have my head down and I'm not looking for anything good to happen, I'll miss this new thing that could be manifesting or I'll miss the opportunity to make something better manifest more quickly because I'm just caught up in this story that it shouldn't have been this way. You know, life got in the way. Well, life didn't get in the way. It doesn't. Life just gives you what life is going to give you. It's not biased. It doesn't care. You can go out in the backyard, scream at the stars, yell at the trees, yell at the flowers. They don't care. They're just doing what they do. Life does that, and it hands you things. But how you respond to it is ultimately going to determine the quality of the life that you live. And I think when people get that, they show up each day in a bit of a different state, and their head's not down, and they're looking for possibility. And I think when people look for possibility versus being caught up on some prediction that they thought that they were going to have, that their life was going to be different. I think when people live in more possibility and that I can create versus always react, that's a beautiful place regardless of what the circumstances may be showing themselves at. It's kind of what you're focusing on then. You know, you're focusing on, you know, life is happening while life is happening. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. you've got to realize that there's, there's stuff every day that's going on in your life. Hey, that's, there's some good, there's some bad, there's some whatever. And not every moment is a beautiful Facebook moment that you read them with your friends. You know, right. everything is, oh, this is wonderful. wonderful. New flowers today. My children are the best children ever. Da, da, da. Right. Blah, blah, blah. You know what? It, it, don't worry about that. Focus on what you've got here. And you go, hey, you know what? This is pretty good. Yeah. And if I cultivate this, it's going to be pretty great. Mm-hmm. You are a guy that, you know, you had some good things going. And you said, well, I'm going to daily start doing the things I need to do to get to where I want to be. Mm-hmm. And you're, so you're focusing on the daily, focus on the daily. And now you're doing some crazy, amazing things that you didn't have specific 
plans. You didn't say, I'm going to be right. meeting with these right. CEOs and stuff. Tell right. me about what's going on with some of the CEOs of some of the things that's happening right now with you anyway. Oh, uh, well. I know we, this is a diversion, but I, it's interesting lot. because you and I were just talking about it. Yeah, so to the point, and yes, we're doing some incredible things. I'll be training another Fortune 100 company in a few weeks. Just came from uh, meeting with uh, some of the organizations of some professional teams, uh, sports teams. And you know, that's um, in my... That's, that's your wheelhouse, man. You're, you're the man. Um, you have... You, you, You've won a few world championships yeah. in what you do, but well, but it's been phenomenal. But and, and people are like, oh my gosh, look at you, what you're doing. You're crushing it. But what people don't see a lot of times is is the the in between moments, and that's back to the mountaintop idea. Is like everybody in our society now sees the Facebook yeah. billboard, you know, the advertisement of how great your friends are doing and how you know whatever. And it's like, oh, now I'm going to compare to what they've got going. And the fact of the matter is, is I've coached enough business owners, CEOs, people that are really making it happen. I mean, they're high productivity. They make it happen, high output. But there are things in their life that suck for them as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even though, like, Facebook is like, look at this. Today, there was this. It takes one half of a second to take a picture. It's like, click, click, and there's the picture. And then it takes a few minutes later to post it. But people look at that and go, oh, this is their life. Yeah. No. Every moment. Every, every day. single <laughs> moment. I'm so happy. I live in ecstasy. It's like, look, you know what I mean? And it's like, look at this. It's like, look at the meal. People take pictures of the food. Look how great the food is. And it's like, this is, man, and, it's all, and people think, that's not what the person that's posting it is saying. But people will say, oh, well, that must be their life. This is what they do all the time. All their meals must be perfectly prepared and look like that, right? And then you compare to that and you go, oh, my life's not like that. You know, I just ate a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and the, the, the chips were stale because the kids left the bag open, you know, whatever. Um, that, to me, is, is understanding. I, I think maturity for me was understanding that it's all the things that go on behind the ultra-awesome moments that lead you to what you would say are awesome moments. And I think that at the end of our life, we could look back at it. And I think if you were to say... I'm going to, you know, you, you take someone's life from them and they, their life ended too early, let's say. They would probably look back and see that all the moments of their life meant something really beautiful and rich, yeah. you know? Like, it's easy, it would be easy to be emotional um, about that because you, you look at just your life, it unfolds, and one day you blink. My daughter Kennedy just turned five, and right, and we were just talking, like, how is that even possible? She hasn't really grown much. She's still about the size of an 18 month old, but she's a power packed little thing. But I can look at her, and, and I almost get emotional. But I, I, I remember the phases, the moments that, you know, she's super cute and super fun, but I can remember times when it was challenging for my wife, Jen. You know, she'd given birth to Kennedy, and Kennedy was like high demand, and um, there was just a lot that, that she required, and there was a lot of stress to it. But I think looking back, even my wife would tell you, it's even in the stress of it that that's where the real beauty is, yeah. you know. And I think when you adopt that and go, man, all of this is part of it. Like, you can't get to Tuesday yeah. without Monday. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can't yeah. get to where without that thing. Not every day's Friday. Yeah, kind of right. Thing. And like you, you, and it's like some people will say, you know, exercise, workout. We talk so much about goals, but you know, I, I tell people, I'm like, can you, you know, can can you work out? Let's say it takes you four weeks or six weeks to see any results. And I, yeah, and I'm like, well, can you get to week six without week five? Yeah. And I like, no. I said, so the one day you looked in the mirror and you could see a little bit of a result. I said. That didn't happen two or three workouts or two or three weeks before. It just didn't happen. Like, you had to get to that. And I said, but you can't get to 14 without 13. And you can't get to 13 without a 6. And all of it, if we look at our life, is contributing to the overall experience of that our life is this thing. It's something to be felt and to be experienced, even when it's what we would call painful or that it sucks. It's like when there's something that's really challenging, it's okay to really feel it for what it is mm -hmm. and say, you know, this sucks. This is not what I expected. You know, there was a health issue. Somebody, you know, my family got sick or I got sick or there was a loss of a job or mm -hmm. career change. Those things happen. And I think the beauty in all of it is to go, 
regardless of whether those things happen or not, like regardless of whether things fit into my standard of believing that I was right when I made up the story of my life months ago or years ago or when I was a kid, regardless of if, whether it fits into my packaging, I'm going to see it for what it is, which is a really beautiful progression, expression of love and life through me. And I get more of what I put out. And if my career changes, uh, if, if what we do right now were to end, uh, I don't believe it will. I don't think I, I, I would ever quit, you know, no matter what. But if it did, I, I could look at it and go, yeah, it was beautiful and wonderful and amazing because I was trying to make the most of every single moment that I was in it. You know, so uh, this is the kind of thing that I hear from so many people, and it's so important um, to recognize that your life is yours alone, and that you need to live it while you have it. Yeah. You know, don't wait till it's a cliche. Don't wait till it's over to then look back and go, "Oh man, appreciate it." Yeah, because you don't. We don't know what we got till it's gone and all that stuff. Well, maybe you appreciate it before it's gone. Yeah. You know, and and know your career may change, industries change. Mm-hmm. All right, everything changed. And think about that. Yeah, we, we were just having this conversation today with the film guys. It was like the only thing that's constant or that stays the same is change. And so the more you try to hold on to, well, the job that I used to have and the way that it used to be, the more frustrated you're going to be right where you're at. And right where you're at, there's this opportunity to create something better, more, and different. So. Man, that's awesome. That, I talk too much. Uh, no, no, it's fantastic stuff. But there's also a way that, that everybody that's watching and listening can can get more of this, and that's at the Marketplace. Tell me about RonnieDoss.net Marketplace. Um, so we, we created our um, all our video platform. We have close to, I think it's close to 400 videos. Oh, God. Pulled them all together, put them on one platform, and we offer it now in a VIP, we call it membership subscription where an individual pays $27 a month and they get access to all of them. So these are videos that we've done for, gosh, four years. And um, these are thousands of dollars worth of content that because we had so much done, we said we're going to pull it together and offer it to people that maybe had never met me before, had an experience of me before. And so it's available at RonnieDoss.net forward slash marketplace. That's where it's all combined. That's available there. You can access that. The person can cancel it at any time if they wanted to, which people don't. They love it. But there's so many videos on there from how to stay motivated, how to get your week started, where I answer questions. There's one we have called Real Talks where I answer questions about, um, you know, just leadership, personal development questions that people email, email in or ask me, you know, in trainings that I'm doing. So we call that one Real Talk. That's about me answering really raw questions. Um, we have one called Power Presenter. That's where I help people to deal with better presentations for their talks, for their sales, whatever it is that they do. If they're a public speaker, you know, I think we're all in sales in a way. Yeah, sure. But, and the fear of public speaking is huge for people. But it's about building more confidence in front of the room. That one's called Power Presenter. That one's one that's like a, a favorite to people. We have one called Fundamentals of Leadership. There's a workbook involved with that. People will show that to their teams. It's fill in the blanks, a PDF download. Uh, we have that one called Fundamentals of Leadership, and then we have another one called Elite Entrepreneur, and that's for people who are just business owners. I say just, not to minimize, we're, you know, yeah. like that, but just business owners that want to show a video to uh, their team or the people that are closest to them, their business partners or whatever, or if it's just for them to help them to continue to stay focused on building their business. You know, being an entrepreneur can be very, very challenging, very difficult. Being an independent, you know, doing yeah. your own thing right. can be very challenging, and so I meet a lot of people that are into the business world, building their own business. So that's another one that we offer, and that's all available on that. So that's, huge. that's the it is cool. That's we're we're huge. really excited about it, and people have responded really well yeah. because um, it used to be each one had a specific price tag, and so these yeah. were hundreds of dollars that people could pay a month for all this. But now we combined it. You're a so, good man, Ronnie Doss. You're a good man. I think so. Yeah. All right. Uh, as we wrap up for today, uh, just give me one nugget that I can uh, take, and we all can take with us for today. Um. I think possibility versus prediction. It's a way to live. Um, I think prediction is where, back to the point in the beginning, is we can oftentimes think that life is going to look a certain way. And when it doesn't, we lose our joy, we lose our peace of mind, we lose, um, I think, all the things that can help us to build something really better. And so if we get locked into a prediction of thinking that it was supposed to look a certain way and then it doesn't, it's not that you can't use that as feedback. Um, to make you better, you know, to improve. It's not you can't use that, but I think we want to live more in a place 
of what's possible and that if I can dream and I can see that even though circumstances or challenges may be coming that there's still great possibility for my future it, that can, it can really be way way better much much better than what I've already experienced and to believe that that's possible is the start and then to do the work to build that possibility allow that to be expressed in our life I think that's where the true sorry to use the word magic happens and so you know possibility versus prediction don't be so locked up in how you thought your life was supposed to look or how it was supposed to be um, still be, uh, reading, so. you're still here and so yeah. at this point it's like moving forward first day of the rest of your life yeah. you know we have the old saying one day or day one let today be day one and operate from the place of possibility so that 30 days from now 60 90 five years from now 10 years from now you can look up and go wow i built something that i am more proud of it may not be exactly what i thought it would be but i believe that if you keep working towards that and those things uh, come back to us and we build something at the end of our life we'll be proud of awesome so, it's awesome. Day, man. Cool. Thanks. Thanks for being here too, man. It's Pleasure. awesome. Appreciate you. Thank you guys so much for being on today. Like a DOS. I look forward to talking to you guys again really, really soon. Take care.